Hello, this is Tan Mac, and this is my first video on my channel. Um, I am drawing a. I'm making a how to on drawing an old time ship. This is one of the ones I made earlier today. Um, I hope you can make one sort of like it. And you can do your own tweaking around if you want. I was just making my other video and my camera just timed out. So, I guess I'll just start a new one right here. So, as I was saying in the other one, which you obviously didn't see, you draw. Just a line going down a piece of paper. <clears throat> then you draw something like this and something like this. Just like this, not something like this, just like it. Like that. Then you draw a straight line, a lump goes down, in and down. You can probably see the shape. Coming in now of the boat. So then you put this flap here. And by the way, if you know all the parts of the ship, um, comment and tell me, please. And uh, I really, I really want and need to know because I just, I just know basics. So anyway, you draw the mast here, it's coming out of the thing, it could be taller, more like that. So then, you draw a triangle coming out of the mast, and then a little circle. And a line. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much you do for right there. Now, you do two lines parallel to each other, like this. Then you do the same for over here. And I just forgot, sort of forgot to mention that. You draw light curved lines going into hard, hardly bold curved lines on the side. But just light on the inside. So you do the same for here. Just, you know, do the same. This is just a rough draft because I was I just want to sort of speed this up. And then you put two lines parallel to each other, sort of like coming out of the the sails, like that. And then you put like sort of like a bat wing. In a way, like connected to the lines. Then you put lightly 
draw lines just like in the sail there. Then you draw this. The place where the ropes get connected. And you connect the ropes in every possible position you can think of. Like this. And only this mass has all them, but every other one just has one connection of rope. It's just drawn in every possible position. And most importantly, you, you draw, you make sure to connect all of them to this back mast here. Then you draw line coming out of there, sort of like right there, to connect these lines. And sometimes I have a flag coming out of the back of it. You draw whatever you want on the flag. Then there's a flag that comes out of here. Also, another thing to note don't put these light lines in here. Well, I recommend not to, but you can if you want to. Now, what else is there? Oh yes, if you want a crow's nest, you can make a crow's nest any way you want to. But the way to get up there is, here are two bold lines parallel to each other, coming out of this area of the, like, where they hold. Then... Just draw a bunch of lines going horizontal and a bunch of lines going vertical. That's how they, they climb up. Now for the other side, make it look like, you can just sort of do it in the background if you know what I mean. Look at the backdrop of anything, but don't let it interrupt the picture because it's showing on this angle, not the other angle. But if you can understand me, like in the background areas, like up there and right there and right there, just draw the other room. That's how they get up. Now, one of the final steps for the masts, the final step actually, is you draw a line of rope attached to all the masts, like so, right to the bottom. You can make them more straighter in your picture. This is just rough. So now for the bottom area. You can draw a window, this is optional, but you can draw a window there. That's, as I said, like for the tenth time, it's a rough draft. I'm just trying to give you the idea. But, um, then you draw the holes for the cannons. Draw as many as you want, but I suggest you don't go all over the ship, like even up here and you know, all just all over because they wouldn't. In reality, they wouldn't have space for all of them, and they prob probably wouldn't couldn't afford all the cannons on the ships. Usually, they had like at tops six cannons per ship. Some of them had fifty, but those were like high, high class ones. This is just a regular one. Then you draw very slim and light lines going across this, you know, lightly. Just connect them because it resembles wood going across. And you go all through 
the ship like this. And connect it like that. So that's the rough draft. The ship. This is what it looks like. And um, that's just another ship I drew. It doesn't have every detail, but I'm pretty proud of it. You can do a little tweaking here and there, just wherever you want. But that is a how-to on drawing an old ship. See you next time. And if this video wasn't, um, like, understandable, comment and say to do it and I'll do a more, like, understandable video. So, see you next time. Make sure to check out my channel. Rate, comment, subscribe, and please give me a thumbs up. Look up um, Derper Perry on YouTube and look up some of his Black Ops 2 videos. And I'm Trooper in it. And I'm sort of. whatever. You'll just have to see it. Alright, see you next time. Goodbye.